Hello all my Hello Maniacs out there, welcome back to the channel, it's so great to see you again and happy holidays to everyone out there. Now with the holidays just around the corner, you gotta know, get, this is gift giving season. So I know it's getting close to the wire now, but if you haven't gotten your Christmas gifts, well then look no further than a little place called fun.com. Wait, I should do it with the logo in here. Fun.com! <laughs> so Fun.com is a great website for any sort of merchandise that you may need, whether you're getting that last minute gift for your holiday season, or you got a gift card and you need to spend it, well, go to Fun.com, you go and get some good stuff. So they got all sorts of stuff from like house decor, a lot of stuff for Christmas. My favorite bit is all of the pop culture stuff. If you love Disney, Harry Potter, all of these cartoons and TV shows, they have no shortage of it. I even got some like Nintendo stuff. There is some awesome pop culture stuff. And if you want to check it out, head down to the description of this video. There is a link to go check it out. And if you use this link, uh, it also helps the channel as well because I do get a commission off of anything that you get there But on top of that there is a 15% off of your entire purchase promo code there as well That's just for us here on the channel So if you go use that over on fun.com you get yourself some discounts and you also get some cool stuff So go check out fun.com. It is awesome And now the folks over at fun.com were so nice to me and said hey you need to get some shopping done for yourself or for Christmas here is a gift card go spend some stuff and share it with your followers so that's what we're gonna do today so thank you fun.com and let me show you all the stuff that I picked out I was honestly surprised that everything that I picked fit into this box uh, a lot of it got folded a ton I'm sure now if y'all know me I don't think I've made it a huge deal on the channel but I don't really wear pants often. Like if you go to watch any of my Disneyland videos, I'm almost always in shorts. I usually don't like pants, but I have discovered that just out here in California, heaters aren't cranked up to 12 billion degrees like they are in Texas. So on a morning where it's really cool, I actually might like some lounge pants. So I have found some nice little green men, aliens from Toy Story, great lounge pants to just enjoy around the house. So. This is gonna happen. Oh, and it's a soft. This fleece is so soft. Ah, I love it. I don't normally like pants, but when I do, they're Disney and they're fun. <laughs> so yes, that that is going to happen around the house on a nice, cool morning. Which, granted, the days in California aren't very cold, but in the morning, it I've seen it like in the 30s. So it's not super cold or anything, but it's enough. I might wanna, you know, cuddle up in a nice lounge lounge pants. <laughs> oh, and this was something really fun really fun now I've been needing new house shoes forever and um, I've also been getting more into video games lately I have been getting really hooked on them and I happened to find some Mario Brothers <laughs> house shoes granted my robe is just kind of a boring blue but the blue would match with this and I'm like yes I need to show off my Nintendo let's go Let's go! Use it the house shoes! Yay! <laughs> now this is one I was very excited about. So in the whole household, every year at Christmas, it's our tradition, we all work a massive puzzle together. And I saw this and said, this needs to be our, <laughs> our puzzle that we worked this year. So this seemed like to be the best one for the entire family, so I'm gonna take this one with me to Texas when we go, and hopefully uh, the whole family can work together and make an awesome puzzle. And my mom will also like it because normally my family we try to go for like a two or five thousand piece puzzles and it drives my mom nuts because she doesn't like them that big. So I got a thousand piece one. It's still a challenge, but not so much of a challenge my mom won't work it with us. Okay, so this is one I was so shocked when I saw it. It is a Christmas sweater, but it is a Christmas sweater unlike any other. I, I just gotta show y'all this. I saw it and I'm like, I don't believe this, so I have to see it to understand it. So it's an ugly Christmas sweater. I don't own any Christmas sweaters or really any sweaters and all the time I've been go acting, asking to go to events this month and they're like, wear an ugly Christmas sweater, wear something Christmassy and I'm like, I have nothing, so I have something now. And this one is really interesting because they say you can actually put your phone into a pocket here and make a digital, like, Christmas sweater. So like, a fireplace would be Rory. So I'm gonna do that for y'all and show you real quick. All right, so y'all see, it's just an ugly Christmas sweater of a fireplace with no, no fire. We're about to fix that. Now look at that. Look at that. There's a roaring fire on my ugly sweater. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy! And it even looks like a knitted sweater as it goes. I mean, I could just go on YouTube and get just like a fire video and do the same thing because it's just my phone in here. But hey, this is great for anybody who doesn't have pockets or doesn't want to put their phone in a pocket. You can have your phone in this little pocket. It's not going anywhere and it is a fashion statement. That's crazy! <laughs> I'll actually wear Christmas sweaters now! Now before I go back to the couch, there is one more Christmas sweater I got that I have to wear in order for y'all to get the full effect. Yeah, this one is definitely not as thick as the other one. The other one was like a legit sweater. This one's more like a little more casual wearing kind of thing. It feels more like a t-shirt, which I appreciate. It's Chewbacca. <laughs> it's an ugly Christmas sweater with Chewbacca. That I saw that and I'm like, yep, that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> Star Wars and Christmas. I don't know why they go together so well, but they totally do. I mean, look at this. You even get like the rebel sign all over this thing. It's it's awesome. All right, now back to the couch and back to the box. And oh yes, this one. I have to show y'all this. I saw this and my heart instantly melted. I have too many mugs, but I don't care. This one had to happen. Look at this Dumbo mug, okay? Now I have been fangirling like there's no tomorrow over Baby Yoda, but this one made me go, oh, that one's cuter than Baby Yoda. I said it, I said it, at me bro. <laughs> oh yeah, and this was a game I had never heard of before. It's called Geek Out Disney. Uh, Disney fanatics of all age are in for a whole new world of fun with this enchanting version of Geek Out. The, par the party game for pop culture experts to show how much they know. See, I like that. No weird buzz cards or something to set you back or anything. It's just pure D trivia. That's how it should be. Like, look at some of these questions. Look at some of these questions. These are good. Like, three characters who live in the Mickey Mouse universe. Not really that hard for a legit Disney fan, but if you're not as in-depth as we are, that could be a little challenging. Three Pixar animation feature film titles. Once again, relatively pretty easy. Two films released before 1960. This challenge is, like, you gotta know your dates, which I love. Two songs from Aladdin, pretty easy, and then name three Muppets. But, like, none of this is, like, multiple choice. You gotta know your stuff. I love that. Now, like I said, I'm starting to get to the point where I would like some comfier clothing. You know, something to lounge around the house in. So now, there is a men's comfort throw that makes you look like Woody. Yes, please! <laughs> yes, please! So I bought this one for me. So that while I'm lounging around at the house and it's a little cool, I can wear this while I watch Disney Plus all day. Cause y'all know that's gonna happen. And anytime my friend Paul comes over, I had to get him this. There's a Buzz version. <laughs> so I'll be sitting there in my Buzz blanket, and he'll uh, in my Woody blanket. He'll be sitting there in his Buzz blanket, and we'll be like two bros just hanging out and stuff. Yeah, which is funny because his favorite character is Buzz, and mine is Woody from Toy Story. Or at least out of the two, I like Woody better than Buzz, but Slinky and Rex are better than all of them. But that's my opinion. Ah, yes, another game. They have a lot of games on here, which I love. We've got. Disney code names. Now, if y'all have never played code names before, oh my goodness, it is a great game. It's like a word association game. Oh, oh my gosh, these aren't necessarily uh, words though. So, if you guys have ever played the game, you have a bunch of cards with words on them and you've got to like make associations with them. Uh, but this one doesn't have words, they're pictures. So, you could play. Uh, and they're all Disney and Pixar characters and all that jazz, so it's, oh, that's just awesome. I'm ready to play this. I'm ready to play this. Because I love the normal code names, but I've never played the Disney version. And I'm all for this, especially if it's pictures. I, I like pictures better than words. We got a few things left. Uh, I don't even remember getting this one. Oh, I forgot I had another one. <laughs> I forgot I ordered another ugly Christmas sweater. Well, actually, this one's not Christmas. It's just an ugly sweater. So, look at that. It's Toy Story Gang. As you can see, I have been lagging in my Toy Story stuff. So, I've been getting a lot of Toy Story stuff lately. So, between the pants, the throw blanket, and the... <laughs> and the sweater. I've been needing a lot of Toy Story stuff. So, getting all the Toy Story stuff now. All right. And once again, following the Toy Story theme, I got a lot of Toy Story stuff. There is just a great Toy Story t-shirt, just all the different characters on there, and it's just like a nice hosh posh of stuff, which I, I really liked this one I saw. And last, but certainly not least, 
something from the Disney Showcase Collection. Y'all wait till you see this. I saw this, I'm like, oh, this is cool. It will definitely fit the aesthetic of my office very, very well. Oh, I just realized my, spree, my screen's been like catacornered this whole time since I've been back from trying on the sweaters. Y'all look at this. Look at this. It's a fire-breathing Maleficent. You're like, <laughs> Which will go great. I have a Phantasmic Maleficent down here fighting Sorcerer Mickey. So I think this is going to... It's gonna go along with it really well. It's just to me, Maleficent as a dragon just just screams like Disney history, and I love it. I love it so much. And this oh, it's just so well done. All these scales. Oh my gosh! And look at this fire. It's like partially see through, and her wings are like partially see through too. This thing is legit. And they've got a lot of other characters than just Maleficent on there. But I saw this one. I'm like, yeah if this has to happen. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, if you want to go to fun.com for yourself, go to the link in the description below and use that promo code for 15% off your entire order. And I'll see you guys later. Bye! I am the mistress of all evil! Bye.